How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and in this video I'm going to show you how to root your phone with one application and it can be on multiple devices which I have actually done on a few of those that you see back there. Not all phones have a root method and some of them don't even support the phone yet. But on my Galaxy S6 Edge, which I'm tethering right now to my computer, uh, I rooted with this method and I will show you how to do it and I don't have internet right now at home. I am literally just tethering from my phone to my computer so I have to download the APK apps onto my computer and transfer them onto my phone here. So whatever phone you're going to be using. So I'm going to plug it in here and obviously I'm going to connect this media device. Set that down for now. And right here I'm going to go to the phone storage. You will see the, you know, the folder of what everything's contained. But I'm going to go into my Google Drive because I, I sync everything to Google Drive and I want to go through root shiz. And now I got King Root. There might be a new version. I downloaded this on May and there is a new version which I will bring it up and it's right here at androidxda.com. You just type in King Root and it'll say download root application all versions and this is what it'll look like and I'll give you the whole process you see download King Root application APK those are the different versions that's been out so it worked at the time of this I have not tried these it says King Root application doesn't need any special guidelines to root your device simply install the application open it click root button and done I'm gonna do this as quickly as possible different ways of rooting but I'm gonna do it this way show you if you've never been able to you don't know how and you're like oh, I'm too scared of doing anything I already downloaded it but I'll just download this latest one just in case I'm using Google Chrome but you see download could be dangerous and I'm gonna say keep though I'm still gonna allow it to download but it's a really small file and it should work really quick now I'm gonna go into my downloads real quick and there's king root version 4.5 i'm gonna cut that out paste that into my root shiz folder see moving one item downloads to root shiz okay so we have it right here there's a 4.5 and 4.0 but i'm going to go back to the phone storage this folder here and in my downloads i will put in king root 4.5 4.0 and i'll also put ping pong as well just in case king root doesn't work i don't know why i wouldn't root checker but don't think that you need all these files you can download these off the play store other than ping pong root and king root those are just side loaded apps which are apks that are not available for the android play store but you just need one of these i'm just having to do it this way because i don't have wi-fi connected to this phone so i'm just gonna copy all of it and i'm gonna place it in the download folder so my computer purpose is done i don't need to use it anymore you really don't need a computer i just had to do it that way so I'm gonna go into my file manager, go to the phone storage, go to the downloads, and here is the files that I just put onto the phone. So now I'm just gonna press on King Root. You know, I'm just gonna do the newest one, whatever about the, the old one. It's gonna go to the newest one. It's a smaller file actually, King Root. You'll have to install it. And as always, every time you wanna do anything in Rudy or custom ROM, it's at your own risk, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Hopefully everything goes good. I mean, I don't see it really going bad, but root access management, easy and pleasant, safe and reliable. So I'm not gonna click anything yet. I'm just going to, just for fun, just to install root checker. Uh, these are all APKs that were on another phone that I brought over. You can download the Play Store to check to see if you got root. And I'm gonna press open. And I will show you that I'm not pre-rooted. Everything is stock. It's a, this app will not root your device. You just, you know, saying I agree. Accurate results from more than 10 million devices over the last four years. You say, okay. So we're going to say verify root. It says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. So there is no root. And now I'm going to go into King Root. And we're going to, you know, bring stuff up to see uh, block out of start apps. It tells you what you can do with King Root. Let's make it better. And now we're going to do try it. So now that I click on that, it says model A5 on Android network, unable to get root strategy from cloud. I'm gonna have to somehow get internet. So this is my first attempt trying to do it without Wi-Fi. Since I need internet to connect, I'll go into my mobile tethering, go in here, turn it on. I'm now connected to the edge. So we'll go back into King Root and verify root status a root access is unavailable and then underneath it says root strategy available just try it so i'm going to just do try to root 
and we'll see what it'll do. Like I said, it wasn't going to root it. Please don't worry if your device reboots. So 16%, it's trying to do its root. Remember, I don't have any unlock bootloader or fancy things that I did. This is straight out of the box. It is a overseas phone called Sizwoo, but remember, a capability of doing it on almost any phone, even though it said there was none, it's letting me try it. Sometimes it doesn't even give you that try it option, but this is what is working so far. It does take a little attempt, you know, to get to it, but we'll see. Warranty will not be void after unroot. So that's always a little thing. If you guys don't know what root is, or you guys barely finding out today, or forgot about it, or want to do it, this is an easy way into rooting and trying it out for yourself. But Root has ability to remove system apps and Root also has the disable auto start app. So you got a lot of things you can do with Root. Nowadays it's becoming more or less of a reason to root, but I am always rooting to stop bloatware, to remove bloatware, to install super user applications to do backups and hacks and of course ROMs. On my Blue Boo device here, this is the same method that I used to root this device so now this is fully rooted with just that application king root and if king root doesn't work for your phone you don't need to be connected to the computer but you do want to have enough power to make sure it doesn't die so i'll just unplug it king root is just one that's worked and ping pong root was before king root and it was all in uh, chinese writing so you couldn't really understand it you just knew that you had to press that button and now king root is like translated so you might want to try both of them if you want to root your phone Again, root at your own risk. Don't blame me if anything breaks. When you root something, you could actually go into the system stuff and delete the wrong stuff. So you got to make sure you know what you're doing. But don't be scared. Just because you root, it doesn't mean everything's going to mess up on your phone. It just gives you the ability to mess up your phone. But at the same time, you get to really do super user work. And there you go, that's on your root successful that you see there. So then it tries to tell you to, you know, use this application to uninstall and auto start things so you can control your stuff. I don't really need this, I don't use this, but it's there for you to, you know, install another application to help you manage your phone. If it's slow, you want to remove stuff within King Roots app. So what I'm going to do next is go into Root Checker. Go back to Root Checker and it says, sorry, right? Close this application now. You don't need to have all of them closed up, but we'll go back into it. Where is it? Root checker. We start, you know, it's just right back. Root. Verify. Root status check. Remember permanently you press allow. And congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So that's how easy it is. So I'll go back into the download section. And I didn't need to use these anymore. But I'm going to go to Titanium Backup and install this. Sorry about my computer fan. It's really loud. That's what I've been using for the last three years. Trying to save up. But I keep getting myself more on the hold to buy a computer. It's not cheap. And just because I'm a YouTuber doesn't mean I make a lot of money. And so we're going to open. Always like coming here and removing certain things. There's backups. So you can back up applications with data. So now that you're ready, you can back up anything and come back to exactly where you backed up you can backtrack on whatever but you can I always do wipe data here I do uninstall and I say yes and I install it completely from my device so it's not gonna be running in the background these are just tiny little files that are wallpapers but these are always the steps that I always remove and you can just keep removing a lot more things here but do not remove anything you do not know. Don't just be like, oh, what is FWK plugin? If you don't know what it is, you can uninstall it, you can delete it, you can wipe it, but you really don't know what it is. So don't remove stuff that you do not know. So like Google Play Newsend, if you never use it and you know you can't uninstall it from your phone, you can wipe the data, you can uninstall it, and it will be removed from your device here. That's how easy it is. I, I, I just love using it. And then you can come in here and check um play newsstand so right now it's still there but once i do a reboot and you should get an android is starting because you got new apps on there that it wants to do his thing and then we go into and we check out where's play movie play newsstand is no longer here so i remove those applications therefore exactly can you delete fm radio go to app info you could only disable. So if you're not going to use FM Radio, you just want to release that memory. It's not a big file. But if you just don't want to see, instead of hiding it, force stopping it, 
you could uninstall it completely with titanium backup from here and you get the point. Other than that, do some hacks, some modules. You do have to do a little bit more steps to get different modules or ROMs, but this is a root method for you to try. I thought it was pretty cool to share and hopefully it helps you guys out. So there you guys have it on the Sizwu. It wasn't rooted and you saw me root it very quickly just with an application. So if you like to try it out for yourself, do it at your own risk and I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos so I know what to work on. And as always, light up. Okay, so I had to come back because I realized when I was editing the video, I did not put that if you root, you most likely won't get future updates. Which means if you're on Android 5.0.2 and there was a 5.1 version for your phone, you're most likely not going to get to be able to update that because it knows you're modified and they don't want to give you the new update. But there are ways to unroot and that's a whole entire different video that you have to go look for. But you can still be rooted and force flash the image for the stock ROM. So there's different ways. So if you're happy with your 5.1 and you think that you're gonna just put custom ROMs, then go ahead and root your phone. But remember that if you have updates that you really want to rely on, then maybe rooting is not for you. But on my edge, I've been on 5.0.2 and 5.1 has been out for a little while now and I've been perfectly fine with that old version and I think root to me is more important than the newest update because I could always flash a custom ROM and get myself to 5.1 if once you're ready, why well, I am, but once you're ready then you could, you know, advance or not. So if you want to try it out for yourself, you already know what to do. Go do it to it.